Hey, welcome to this video on the head and shoulders pattern. And you know, a lot of people trade this totally wrong. And I'm going to show you not only which ways are completely wrong, because I find that a lot of people oversimplify it, but I'm also going to show you how to trade the most effective patterns, what they look like and why. So we give you the logic behind it as well. So you can have confidence in it and understand that, oh, this makes sense. So here we go. Let's uh, look at a couple of things. There's really three points in today's video. Number one, a real true head and shoulders pattern is one that occurs at the end of a trend because a head and shoulders pattern is a trend reversal pattern. So sometimes I see people looking at things like that. They will actually see this as a left shoulder and that as the head and that is the right shoulder. So that is absolutely not a head and shoulders pattern. All right, by the way, for those of you who maybe don't know, a head and shoulders pattern basically looks like this. You have a high, then a retrace, a higher high, then a retrace, then a lower high, and then a retrace. And people call these um, different things, but basically head and shoulders pattern. That's the basic idea. A high, a higher high, and a lower high. Now, that is an oversimplification, and that's the problem that a lot of amateur traders make, is they think that's all it is. No, that's not all it is. That is the basic meta pattern, but there's more to it. So the reason that this right here does not qualify as a head and shoulders pattern is because a real head and shoulders pattern only occurs at the end of a trend. And we do not have an uptrend here. So this would be, I mean, we've got a nice impulse move here, but really um, we've already had a major down move and we, this does not qualify as a trend moving up. A trend defined by Webster's Dictionary is the extended general direction of a move. So think of that extended general long-term move, right? Long-term move. That's what that means. This is not a long-term move up. So this is not a head and shoulders pattern. And that's why this does not go down and why it does not work because it's not even a head and shoulders pattern to begin with. Okay. Step two. Now, the second point here is that here we could look at a potential reverse head and shoulders pattern. There's your left shoulder, your head, and the right shoulder. Uh, this is also a bad pattern. Now this one's a little better than the other because at least we are in a downtrend and it looks like it could be occurring at the end of a downtrend in order to then reverse the trend and go up. So we've met rule one, but we're violating rule two. What's rule two? Well, let me show you. So the neckline goes from here to here. Okay, so left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and then this high and that high. Now, um, here's the problem with this. So this, if we draw a line horizontally across here, we'll see that this right neckline broke the high of the left neckline. There's actually some people who say that's a good thing and that those probabilities or the probabilities of that type of pattern is better than if the neckline stays below this neckline, or in other words, the right neckline stays below the left neckline. Um, understand that a lot of the statistics done on chart patterns are done on daily charts. Now, I've showed a daily chart on the last uh, chart. Uh, this one's a little two-minute chart. You might think, well, do head and shoulders actually work on a two-minute chart? Yes, they actually do. They do as long as there's enough volume. We've got the E-minis here, and so good volume. Two-minute charts work fine. But the statistics that work on a daily chart don't necessarily work on an intraday chart, number one. And number two, just because something statistically has worked in the past does not mean it will in the future. And so be very leery of all those statistical analyses because, well, you see it everywhere that you sign up for a brokerage firm, software, whatever it says, past performance is not indicative of future results. So there you go. Enough said. The problem is the market logic, I said I'd explain the logic to these things. Here's the problem with the logic of it. So we actually want the right neckline lower than the left neckline, and here's why. Um, this might seem like, oh good, this is a confirmation that the move is strong up. Well, as in most things with trading, by the time you get confirmation, the deal is done. The deal is done. 
Uh, I prefer to call trading speculating, kind of an old term there from the days of yore. And I prefer to use it because it keeps reminding me that it's always very risky, that we're managing risk. So traders, good traders, professional traders, get in before things are confirmed, before things are obvious. Well, by the time this occurs, everybody sees it, and therefore um, the amateurs are getting in, and it's too late. You're too late to the party. You want to get in before things are confirmed, and then you manage your money and your risk in case it doesn't work out, and that's professional trading. So if you look at this, okay, we break that high. Now, uh, again, the entry, which we'll get to on point three, is also a problem with these. But let's just look into the future here a little bit. So as you can see, um, you know, it didn't really um, go very far. It didn't do very well. The entry, the traditional entry, is when it breaks this high. And if you took it when it broke that high, um, you get exactly what happens a lot these days, which are failed breakouts. Failed breakouts. So I would never want to enter above this high. Just way too late. That is amateur trading. So let me show you how I trade these head and shoulder patterns. That works out real well. Okay, so here is our third principle. And let's uh, just review one and two first and show you how it works here. So we've got pretty good move down. Right? It's been moving down for quite a while. Comes back up. So that's our left shoulder. That's our neckline. Make a lower low. Now that's our right neckline and that's our right shoulder. Now we could enter the break here, but as I said, um, I don't like that. But here's the first thing that I want to point out. This pattern is two patterns in one. In other words, having the right neckline lower than the left neckline gives you two patterns in one. So a lot of people are gonna wait for this breakout here. Or some people will do the trend line. And that's, that's actually a little bit better. I would prefer that. I'm not against uh, trading the trend line. That one's okay. But waiting for up here, you're really paying retail instead of uh, buying wholesale. But here's what I want to point out about this pattern. It's two patterns in one. Look at this. So if we connect these highs and we connect these lows, what do we got? We've got a triangle, a symmetrical triangle. And so when you get a head and shoulders pattern like this, where the right um, neckline is lower than the left neckline, you have two patterns in one. One, you've got the head and shoulders pattern. And two, you have a triangle pattern. And triangle patterns are known for breaking out into you know, fairly nice moves. At least you get a, usually a good impulse move out of them because they're a contraction that moves into expansion. And that's a cycle in the market, expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction. So we're looking for a nice impulse move out of this, which we get. And so we get a nice impulse move there. We get back into a little contraction, another impulse move there, into back a little contraction. Normal. That's what normally happens. Where do you get in? Okay. So you've got a couple of options. Number one, as I already mentioned, you can trade the break of this trend line. And that is, that is fine. In this case, uh, that option and the one I'm going to mention wouldn't really make much difference. If you have a timing tool, a cycle indicator, then um, you can actually trade this low right here before the breakout. Before the breakout. And that really gives you an incredibly low risk and a then proportionally higher risk-reward ratio. But you've got to have a great timing tool in order to do that. So if you don't have that, that's cool. Actually, if you don't have it, you know what? I'll, I'll give you mine. <laughs> uh, feel free to write me at Barry at topdogtrading.com. And um, yeah, I can make that available to you for free. It works on any charting platform. So yeah, I'll just give you that. And one last point that I'll, one last point that I'll mention on this is that for these to work out, um, what you want to see here too, and I've talked about it in previous videos, so I won't go into it in detail now, is on this shoulder right here, the right shoulder, you want to see a shift of momentum. In other words, momentum can be strong going down here. I'd actually like to see a momentum shift here where it's uh, maybe a little divergence. But then for here on this right shoulder, I definitely want to see very little momentum going down. So whatever momentum indicator you like to use, whatever is your favorite, 
I've done lessons on uh, RSI and MFI and all kinds of things like that, even the momentum indicator. But you definitely want to make sure there's a momentum shift here so that this move down is on weakness and we're, our momentum is shifting back into a bullish territory. Okay, so a little longer video today. I don't normally like to make them that long, but um, hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, hey, please understand that, uh, yeah, the video is free, but you've got a moral obligation. If you like the video to pay it forward, to share it with others, go ahead and click the share button below and share it on social media. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon below and leave a comment because that encourages me to create more free tutorials. I'm also uh, doing some other videos that I've got. I've got five videos that go through examples just like this of common misconceptions on charting patterns. So I'm happy to give you those five videos for free. They're not on YouTube, but um, I have them on my website. Be happy to give you those. And it also includes one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade. And I'm happy to give you that trade, the rules, the filters, all of that. It's a simple trade. You can learn in about 26 short minutes. So get the video and all five videos actually by um, just clicking in the image on the top left corner. Or if you're on a mobile device, click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right corner of this video. And if you're not watching on YouTube, there's a link below the video or an opt-in form on the side. And once you do that, I'll personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.